Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. This is author, editor, and speak. Blah, goodness, I can't even remember what I say when I'm starting my radio show. This is author, editor, teacher, and speaker, Zari Banks. I hope you are having a phenomenal day. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2013. I'm giving you a date and information on this because today is a day that um, Doug Addison, he, he's known as the Tattooed Prophet, um, in Santa Monica and Los Angeles, California, he prophesied that the Lord told him today would be a day where there's a shifting in the supernatural realm, in the spiritual realm. I mean, and it's um, very obvious to me by the dreams that I had this morning. And um, just right now, I'm sitting here reading my Bible and doing my afternoon study. And the Lord's speaking to me like I read the first sentence of uh, First Chronicles chapter 9, and the Lord's already speaking. Before I get into the Bible, I always pray, Lord, you know, I, I teach this in, um, oh, Lord, teach, my way, teach me your ways, but it teaches you how to submit your reading time to the Holy Spirit so that he can teach you what he needs to teach you and peel back those layers of the word for you. God's word is so deep. There's no way that you're going to be able to understand it completely without the Holy Spirit. And that's what revelation is. Like when the Holy Spirit breathes on something and gives you understanding that you never had before, so you can stop uh, perishing for lack of knowledge. And so your life gets changed. That's revelation. That's intimacy with the Holy Spirit. That causes life change. And that's what you're supposed to sow into. So um, I'm sitting here reading the word of the Lord, like I said, reading the very first sentence and the Lord speaks immediately. And so I just want to encourage you that if you have a minute, get somewhere right now as soon as you can today and spend some time with the Lord and allow him to speak. He is very, very talkative right now, I guess you could call it, but he's willing to tell you all kinds of stuff, like really, really important stuff right now, things that you need to understand right now, things for your life right now, things for the world right now today on this date. So um, like I said, if you have time, take take a minute, stop and and get into um, get into his presence and listen to him. Let him speak to you. Let him tell you things. Let him show you things, give you visions, all kinds of stuff. But real quickly, I'm going to share with you what I'm reading. It says, so all Israel was recorded in genealogies and all these are written in the book of the kings of Israel. And I was just thinking, well, you know, it comes from the Holy Spirit, the thoughts that he gives you as you're reading his word that, um, you know, so many people like families are disjointed these days and, you know, there's um, adoptions and all kinds of things where people don't know where their families are and they don't know their histories and all of that stuff, but God does. And I know like one of the projects that my um, family was talking about over the weekend was um, really updating our family tree and getting it solid and getting it put in some type of format so that it is, you know, in someone's possession forever, not just everybody having a little bit of information and a little bit of information, but getting everything compiled on one side of the family so that it can be recorded and people will know where they come from, who they are, etc. And the Lord knows who you are, everything. He knows where you came from. He knows your history. He knows those things that are in your generational line that need to be cleaned up. He knows how to clean those things up. He knows where to tell you to look if you're looking for something. So get with him and allow him to teach you about who you are. You know, a lot of times we have those quirks and things and we don't understand, you know, why can I not um, conquer this? Why do I keep falling into this same bondage, et cetera, et cetera? Well, let the Lord look at your genealogy and tell you, you know, I've learned a lot the few last few months about my bloodline, not from my relatives, but from the Lord, because he is moving me into, you know, a higher position in his army. And when you get up higher, you learn how to take more territory and you learn how to conquer more things, but you have to have you know, more stuff cleaned out of you to give you deeper intimacy and more direct access to the Lord as you go up higher in him and with him. So he will tell you those things that need to be cleaned up. He knows your genealogy better than anybody else does. You know, he'll tell you those things that, you know, this is causing you this in your life or, you know, etc. Ask the Lord. He knows everything. A lot of people are not there yet. They're not in that place in spiritual growth. Like they're still just needing the beginning of deliverance so that they can be opened up to what's going on in the spiritual realm. Well, if you're already at that point, you know, where you've gone through a lot of deliverance, but you still haven't been able to cross over, ask the Lord what it is that you need to cross over. I I can guarantee you it probably has something to do with your bloodline. It's It's that deep, you know, but those things will help you to cross over. The second 
line in um, First Chronicles chapter 9 says, And Judah was taken into exile in Babylon because of their breach of faith. So I'm sitting there reading that, and immediately the Holy Spirit says, the, Your lack of faith displeases the Lord. So, you know, a lot of times we... Um, we say we believe, we believe, we believe, but in our heart, which is what he's looking at, you know, in our soul, which is what he's looking at, we doubt that he's going to come through on things. And you have to understand if you're in a relationship with somebody and they know, you know, by your attitude, by your behavior, by the things that come out of your mouth, that they're displeasing you, how much are they going to do to try to satisfy you? You know, there are going to be those people who try to manipulate, but God's not a manipulator. So he, if he's looking at you on the inside and he sees that you've got this wall of doubt there, he's not going to be running towards you to bless you, to provide for you, to give you all that stuff. He runs toward those people who have faith. Hebrews 11 tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please him. And those who even come to the Lord have to believe that he is and know that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So I just say right now that if you have doubt deep down in your heart because of what you see going on around you or what you see happening in the world or things that have happened to you, you have to conquer that. You have to conquer that. You cannot get anywhere in the kingdom of heaven without faith, you know, and you don't want to be a person who's displeasing the Lord, you know, that doesn't remove his love from you because nothing can separate us from his love, but that does dampen your relationship. It puts a block on your relationship that will eliminate the possibility of you getting all of those good things that he has for you and that he's ordained for you from the beginning of the time, from the beginning of time. You have to know that the Lord is always thinking of your good. Even those who don't believe in him yet, he still, everything he plans for them is for good. Everything that he plans is for good, but you have to have the faith to move toward him. You know, you have to have the faith that allows him to show himself strong on your behalf, to show himself as a miracle worker. You have to believe that he will do that. Okay, so I hope you got something out of that. I hope you get a chance to go and spend some time with the Lord. You know, take your kids in there with you. You don't have to you know, go into that time with him without, you know, I'm sitting here going through my, reading my Bible and my son's sitting right here next to me. And of course, everything the Holy Spirit's saying, I'm speaking out loud. So he's hearing it too. So you don't have to be by yourself, but your, your spirit needs to be focused on the Lord so that you can hear him. All right. So I bless you in Jesus's name. I give honor to God for the opportunity to be able to be a voice for him in this age. I just praise him, honor him, glorify him and magnify him because he is a wonderful God. I've seen him do some amazing things and I look forward to where he's taking all of us who are diligently seeking after him, who are walking in faith, who are not afraid to get out of the boat and who keep our eyes on him. All right. Take care. Oh, don't forget to go to www.zwritswords.org and buy some books. Those books will really bless you. Um, if you know somebody who could benefit from these podcasts, go ahead and point them in this direction and let them listen to them. They are also on YouTube. I have a YouTube page. You can find me on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash author Zari Banks. We also have um, www.facebook.com forward slash um, Patty and Zari. That's Patty with an I. Meet us there. And we have some good information for you, some good wisdom for you. Um, the Lord is doing a lot of things in the earth right now. And if you're not hearing him speak to you daily, having him show you things daily, something is missing. And I can guarantee you it's not him because he doesn't get lost. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.